Hi everybody, I need your help with a problem. I drew these shapes and then I shared them with my friends. And one of my friends said that just one of these shapes is a square. And another of my friends disagreed and said, no, some of these shapes are squares and some of them are not. And another friend just didn't know. So I need your help today. So today, let's think about squares. So what do you know about squares already? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, the first thing I think about is that squares have to have four sides. Let's check and see. Well, the red shape has one, two, three, four sides. It could be a square. The blue one, one side, two side, three side, four sides. Could be a square. The green one, one, two, three, four. Could be a square. The orange one, one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. It could be a square too. I don't know that that makes much sense because I don't know that they're all squares. What else do we know about squares that can help us figure out which ones are and are not squares? Well, the other thing I know, you probably know this too, is that squares have to have equal sides. So each side has to measure the same length. So let's go ahead and measure the sides of this red shape. If I go ahead and measure this first side over here, I see that it has a measure of nine units. How about the opposite side? If I come over here and I look at how much it measures, I can see that it too measures nine units. What about the top and the bottom? If I look at the top, I can see that it measures nine units. And the opposite side, it too measures nine units. So based on our rules, because all the sides are the same length, the red figure, the red shape, could be a square. So what about the blue shape? Okay, well let's measure it. This side here has a side length of eight units. And its opposite side has a measure of eight units also. What about the other two sides? If I measure this side, I see that it has a measure of eight units. And if I measure this side down here, I see that it has a measure of eight units as well. So based on our rules, the blue shape could be a square. What do you think about the green shape? Well, let's measure it. The top side has a measure of six units where the bottom side has a measure of six units also. Okay, what about its side, the left-hand side? If I look at the left-hand side, I see that it has a measure of six units. And its opposite side, I see that it has a measure of six units too. So based on our rules, we know that it could be a square. Now we have one more figure. What do you think about this orange figure? Now I'm not so sure about it either, but let's go ahead and measure it. The top side has a measure of six units. Okay, that's good. But what about this side over here? This side has a measure of six units also. What about the far side? If I measure this side, I see that it has a measure of six units. Three of the four sides have a measure of six units. If the last side measures six units, it could be a square. What do you think? Well, let's measure to be sure. So I'm measuring and I see that, oh, it's much more than six. Look, I already got to 12. And if I measure the rest of it, I see that it's two more. 12 and two more makes this side 14 units. That's way too much. So knowing that, and knowing our rules that a square has to have four sides and all sides have to be equal in length, the orange shape doesn't do that. So we're going to have to say that the orange shape is not a square. Okay, but what about the other three shapes? Are we still sure that they're all square? I think we need one other rule to make sure about this. And the other rule we're going to look at now is a special rule to squares. Squares have to have right angles. Now an angle is a special thing. 
we look over here at this corner here, an angle is what happens when two lines join each other. So if this line joins this line, a space is made between them. And this space is the angle. Now the space could also be the space on the outside. But a right angle is a special kind of angle when two lines join together. And it's made when two lines that are perpendicular to each other join. So perpendicular mean, lines mean that they go in completely the opposite direction. So if this is a horizontal line, if this is a horizontal line, a perpendicular line goes vertically, completely opposite. Now the spaces in here are right angles. Now if you look around your house, look around the room, look at a piece of paper, you'll see these kinds of corners. These are all right angles. And we can mark them by saying that this says that this is a right angle. Now one last special thing about right angles. If we look at the right angle, we can see that this space here is exactly the same as this here, is the same as this here, is the same as this here, and this here. They're all the same. For our problem, let's use two letters of the alphabet to help us understand right angles better. So think for a second about what letters might help us do this. What letters have right angles built in? So I'm going to write one right now. You probably knew this one already. Letter T is really good because it has two right angles. And the other letter that we like is the letter L because the letter L has a nice right angle right here, just like the corner of a door, a window, a piece of paper. So keep those in mind as we go and look at these shapes. Now for this to happen, for this to be a square, we need to have right angles in every one of the corners. So let's see what we get. I'm going to use the T test in this corner. So I'm going to draw the letter T. And if I like the letter T, I'm going to say it's square. And it is. So that's a right angle. I'm going to use the T test over here. And if it's a perfect test where this side, this angle over here is the same as this angle over here, I can say that it's a right angle. Let me use an L down here in this corner. If I draw a really good L, I can say that this is a right angle, which it is. And this is what we started with. Is this an L shape? If we think of this as a good L, then we can say this is a right angle too. Because these, this red shape has equal sides of nine units all the way around, and because it has four right angles, we can say now that this is a square because it follows all of our rules. But what about the blue shape now? Is it a square? Let's try our t-test. If I try my t-test in this corner, I'm happy with it, one right angle. If I try my t-test over here, I'm happy with it, another right angle. My L test here, does it look like a good L? I can say that's a right angle too. And this last corner, if it looks like a sideways L, but it has a good corner still, the space in here, I can say this is a right angle too. Since the blue shape has four sides that are the same length, all eight, and it has four right angles, we can say that this too is a square. What do you think about the green shape? I'm looking at the green shape now, and I'm looking at its corners. I'm a little worried about these corners, but let's go ahead and do the t-test over here. If I do the t-test in this corner, that's not a very good t. I can't say that's a right angle. What about this corner? This isn't looking too good either. Not a right angle. How about an l-test down here? Nope. An l-test over here? No. Since none of the corners are angles are right angles, since this shape has no right angles, I can say now that this is not a square. Okay, let's go back to our original problem. When I shared this with my friends, we wanted to know which ones were squares and which ones weren't. Well, we made some rules for ourselves. We checked to see if things had four sides. We checked to see if all the shapes had equal sides and we check to see which shapes had all right angles. And based on that, we know the red shape and the blue shape have all of those things, but the green shape and the orange shape do not. So thank you for your help with this problem.